All right, we're gonna be a little closer. You're gonna see this position sometimes on the cage in MMA, but we're gonna really see this position is in kickboxing and Muay Thai. When we get closer, when he's been so used to my one, two, we have a double bubble here. What we do is uppercut now, but now off the uppercut, I button hook that hook right around the guard. And I, I, that's what I like doing. When they get good at defending the cross, no problem, no worries. Hakuna Matata here. They're worried about the cross, uppercut. Now, boom, there's your body hook. Again, jab, and so I shield myself to come into battle there. That's the key with the jab as I'm getting closer, especially. Twist the uppercut, I can go button hook. Like I said, jab, twist the uppercut, thumb over, jab, and 45 is there. Especially if I go with a longer uppercut, longer hook. Like I said, especially when I do that liver shot, pushing off the toe, shield the jab, long up, boom, hook there, nice and easy. Now as we get a little closer, that's when I yank, yank. Nice and easy, if I'm closer, yank that uppercut, twist that hook. That's where I'm really gonna use that thumb over uppercut off that, that hook, but then it gives me a filthy elbow if we're fighting Muay Thai and we're fighting MMA. So on the lefty righty side, you can do this a little differently. We slide. I don't necessarily do a regular uppercut. I go 45, boom, hook. This is something that Vasily Lomachenko does. A lot of really good Cuban boxers do. This is what I actually learned my coach who coached me in Cuban boxing, because like I said, I slide 45, thumb over, nice and easy. And I can even go 45 to the body, boom, bam, and hook right off of it. It's the easy setup. Like I said, when I go lefty, I don't want to stay in the middle. I get off the side. Now it gives me, I'm closer to his shoulder. If I'm closer to his shoulder, easier to hit me. The farther I am away from Jamie's shoulder, now he can pull away too. Whew, you see that? It's very easy. So I don't want to let him be able to pull away on that hook. So getting off the side of the foot, boom, I'm right there. Elbows there, knees there, takedowns there, etc. So it's just the foot placement is key here, gang. We'll kind of get a, a good angle on this, but you'll see my foot placement slide, slide, boom. Now I'm in range to hook. If I go straight on, now he can pull, yep, and boom, I get hit. Because that's what I want you to be aware of. What is the risk of you getting hit while you hit? You know, it's just not me hitting, it's will the hit get me hit? Will the hit get me knocked out? Will the hit get me scored on, etc. So I've got to be mindful always of the position I'm in that I don't give up a big hit as well. So that's how I set that, that hook up off the uppercut on that opposite side. So again, lefty righty, that was our angle there. And we're just rock and roll from there. Just showing all these, you can see I have a system. I just build it up. I start with the one, two, all right? They're worried about the two, maybe one, then double it up with the hook. All right, now they're staying a little farther away. Faint the jab, cross hook. Oh, we get a little closer up. It's just, it's a whole system, guys. This is what's going through my mind when I spar and when I used to fight, is I just break them down, break them down. Just keep throwing something to open something. Throw something to open something. So it's very similar to passing the guard in jiu-jitsu. I just gotta keep working, keep staying persistent, and sooner or later you're past that guard. But the best guys who are guard passing in jiu-jitsu have great guard passing systems. So hopefully this system will help you start landing these hooks more.